Welcome back guys to Big T Cooks 2023. Hope everyone had a good um, Christmas and New Year. So we're starting again, um, a little bit late on the next video, but hope everyone had a good good holiday. So um, today's, today's cook is going to be the wife's sticky date. Sticky date pudding, I just sort of put that in there. So um, that's one of her favourite favorite desserts, my favourite dessert. So that's what we're going to uh, be doing today, just in the oven. As per usual, um, pretty, as I always say, simple ingredient stuff you can get from the supermarket. So let's have a bit of a quick look on some of the stuff. You just want some, just some store-bought butter, just chuck that in the fridge. Um, plain self-raising flour, bicarb soda, um, obviously the main ingredient, you just want your pitted dates there. Got some brown sugar, thick and cream obviously for the sauce as well. Vanilla extract, couple of eggs. Um, so what we're gonna do now, I'll just go through a couple of hopefully easy steps so you crew at home can either do it. I think the guys, you make this for the for the wife, partner, girlfriend. Um, it's gonna be, yeah, I think you'd be pretty pretty happy. Um, the sauce, it's gonna be a caramel sauce as well. So we'll, we'll throw that all into the, um, the video. So like I said, let's, uh, let's rip into it. Um, hopefully my steps are easy for you to, to follow. And, um, and like I said, the next one, what we do now, we'll just go step by step and we'll show you as we go. So um, I'll get on the apron too, the daughter brought that for me because obviously I need something. Probably a little, needs to be a little bit better, but we'll hopefully Big T can get his own merchandise up and running. So um, let's rip into it. So our first step here, we've got some uh, pitted dates. So 250 grams of them. Um, just chuck them in a little bowl there. What I'm gonna do simply now, um, just grab them out. We just wanna try and chop them into some small, small little bits there. Just a bit of crisscross cutting as well. So let's just get the whole lot done there. So first step, pretty basic. Um, I'll cut all these up and then we'll be on to the next one. So now we've just cut up all of the dates. Um, it's pretty, it gets pretty annoying after a while, but um, just chop them up into little pieces like that. Um, what I've done, I've boiled the kettle now. So our next step is, so we're just gonna uh, just place these, place all the chopped dates straight into the bowl. Okay, what we're gonna try and do here is soften and rehydrate these dates. Okay, so that was some big words from the wife then, because I already forgot it. So um, what we do now, Bicarb soda, one level teaspoon of bicarb soda, just sprinkling, just yeah, just evenly sprinkle it over the, just over the top of the, top of the dates there. And so one teaspoon now with the boil, the kettle, um, we want one and a half cups of hot water. So just tip her into there and we'll see some magic start to happen. So just evenly tip it over the top. There's one cup and we just want the other half now. So one and a half cups, a little bit of fizz in there, a bit of a shake around. So all we do now is just let that sit and marinate for another 20 minutes. So uh, we'll be back once this is all, uh, yeah, once them dates start to soak it up and we'll be back. So it's been 20 minutes now. Um, as you can tell, here's our dates um, with the bicarb soda and the hot water. As you can tell, most of them dates now have taken on all that liquid starting to get a little bit plump so they're pretty good um in the meantime as well i've just preheated our oven to 180 degrees so um do that just while the uh, dates are soaking our next step guys is going to be the creaming of 125 grams of soft butter one cup of brown sugar so i'll just add that get that in there break that up a bit and we want one teaspoon of vanilla extract so what we're going to do now I'll just quickly tip that in pretty basic just a little bit of a gee, this stuff smells really good so a little dabble like that and what the piece of resistance one of these guys little what do you call them beaters or whatever it's just a breville hand ones whatever you want to do so let's uh let's try and beat these up i'm not really 
Haven't done this much before, but we'll see how we go. Yep, so here we go. That's nearly a minute and a half there, just with the uh, with the beater now. So just make it so it's kinda, it's pretty creamy, um, pretty creamy and soft. So the next step is one egg at a time with the same beaters. So um, we'll just chuck our first one, chuck our first egg in and we'll get the beater, get the beater back on. So chuck the first one in, turn her on. And just throw the next one in as well. I'll do one thing at a time. Second egg in, so two eggs. And we'll just give her another whirl. Back here again, so we've got all the eggs. The two eggs have gone in there as well. Beated them together, that's made it a little bit more velvety now. You can actually see that's a little more, put more, a bit more substance in there with those two eggs. So remember to fold them in at the end. All right, now it's go time. So now what we get, water, the whole lot, all the dates. Straight into there. Look at that. Bang, tip that in, get as much of that corner, all that juice as you can into there. Next, give it a quick, give it a quick stir. Just get that corner folded through. Here we go, looking very, very, very. Here we go now, guys. So it's now the self-raising flour, one and three quarter cup. So self-raising flour. So add that straight in. Bang like that, and then now we do some manual. Uh, let's do some manual labour, just nice and soft at the start. Bring that flour through. Give a bit of a turn through the middle. Pick up all the flour off the side as well. So just kind of do it as good as you can. Turn the bowl, make it look like you actually know what you're doing, which I kind of don't. But I think the more gentle you are with it, the better. But yeah, let's just, just try and get all them lumps out. Get the flour incorporated with that. There we go, scoop it all through. Give it a turn through the middle, cut. And give that a stir for a couple of minutes, is it? Yep. All right, second last step here. Couple of little things. Um, we use these silicon little oven trays. I reckon they're pretty handy, but if you want to use your own grease um, line trays at home, Make sure you, you can either put some butter, um, some spray oil, just whatever you can, but these non-stick silicon um, oven tray things are fantastic. A Little bit flimsy, so that's why I've got that just in a normal oven tray. Like I said, um, oven's preheated at 180. Hand mixture's already done, so let's go in now and let's tip our uh, sticky date mixture through into the middle. Let's try and get, scrape all the edges out. Fantastic. Smells even better. Like I said, everyone give this a give this a whirl. What do we say? 180 degrees, 35 to 40 minutes. Um, grab one of the one of your wooden skewers or a skewer or a, or a knife. Once you get to that mark, you can just actually just insert it into the into the sticky date pudding. If it comes out clean, um, happy days. So let's we'll just give that a little bit of a. Like that. Um, next stage, this will be out. Hopefully, we'll be cutting, and we're going to make some uh, a caramel sauce to go over the top as well um, with your favourite. I like ice cream. I'll show you that later. Or some double cream, I think it is. So you can use that. But we will chuck that in the oven, and uh, we'll be back once this uh, bad boy's cooked. So freshly hot, that tray's hot, so obviously use your oven mitt as well to get it out. So which we'll see with, uh, let's see, uh, with uh, hey? That's, I'm just talking a bit of crap now. So um, let's we'll just get our sharp knife. Let's we'll see if it comes out nice and clean. Yeah, pretty good. Nothing on there. So let's let that sit now for a good 10 to 20 minutes just to let it cool down. And then we'll take that out of the, uh, out of the tray 
um, and then we'll start making our caramel sauce um, for the final product. But um, yeah, we'll just let it rest now, cool down. Um, we'll be back with our cream uh, caramel sauce and our uh, toppings and we're right to go. So while our sticky date pudding is resting now, we're just gonna make our uh, caramel sauce. So um, what have we got there? Probably 50, 60 grams of um, softened butter. So just throw that into a uh, saucepan that's just on the heat. And that's gonna be, oh yeah, yeah, that's probably a bit warm. And then one cup of uh, sugar, just throw that in. We'll just turn that down a bit. What we're gonna do now is just let that, I'll just pick that up a little bit. There we go. What we wanna do here is just make sure this butter, butter and sugar just come to a bit of a, um, what would you say, like a bit of a caramel, yeah, caramel consistency, would you say? Yeah, we'll just do that, just let that kinda of go. Um, and then the next step, once that's done there, pretty crappy with the um, holding the saucepan on there. And then all we're gonna do then is add our uh, 300 ml of thickened cream and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So just let that, I'll just turn that little heat up a bit. So just muck around with it while you're going. You can see it's starting to, uh, just starting to melt a bit now. So just keep that heat down at the start. Don't want to burn it. it. It goes pretty quick, so just keep your eye on that. Once that's uh, turned to a bit of a liquid, then we'll add our um, other two wet ingredients. Wow. Yep, as you can tell now, see how that, it's actually all melted in, it looks pretty good, pretty caramel. So let's just add our uh, 300 grams of milk, uh, sorry, not milk, cream, I'll get that right. Tip that in, just hand gesture that, that'll be enough. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So tip it in, beautiful, just keep stirring that. So like I said, just be, uh, just be pretty careful with this. She does get hot and sticky, just take it on and off as you can so just keep stirring that until it's nice and velvety and then we're going to tip that straight over the top so we're back here the steer pudding has cooled off we've got our sauce ready to go um as you can tell look inside that there it's very it's it's nice and moist it's it's come up an absolute treat so what i'm going to do now i'm going to have some um Blue Ribbon Classic Vanilla Ice Cream and the miss is going to have some double cream. I don't really like the cream, so um, I'm just going to put some uh, some of that stuff on here now and then I'm going to drizzle the cream sauce over the top. So ice cream for Big T. Big T loves ice cream. There we go, look at that one. And then, look at this funky looking stuff. This is for the, uh, the wife. They go on top? So they go on top? No, it goes after the oh, sauce. Oh, here we go, that's right. Just keep, keep keep rolling, keep rolling. Here we go. And this is the sauce. You gotta keep rolling, this is the stuff we want. All right, here we go, it's nice and warm. How good's your sauce? Over the top, let that melt. Oh, I need some, need some more. How good does that look? So you want that over the top there? Yes. Yeah, and then you just want more, yeah, look at that. Is that enough? Yeah, skimp on the sauce, put some more on. Oh yeah, put some more on, look at that. Is that enough? Yeah. Here we go, and then we'll put a dabble of this funky cream on. Do another one? That'll be good. That'll be good, all right, here we go. It's a big tea. Just gonna put a bit more on there, look at the drizzle. Here we go, big teas, sticky date pudding. What was the name of the show again? The Wife's Sticky Date. So here we go. Let's get some, um, I don't know how to do this actually. It's kind of crazy. Here we go. Bit of ice cream. And that, here we go. Well, that's rich, but that's really nice. That is really, really nice. There's heaps left over. I'm gonna distribute some of this to some family and friends. But um, like I said again, the channel's back up and running. Love everything we do about it. There's phone calls, there's people wanting to do new stuff with us. So we're gonna try and get Big T's Food Safari out on the road, do some bush cooking, do anything we can just to get people involved. So um, I hope you enjoyed this little stint inside. I wanna get back out on the barbecue in the, you know, the next few months doing some summer barbecue stuff but hopefully yeah hopefully this hopefully you've enjoyed it hopefully it's simple and um big t loves you all
like and subscribe.